All right, so here's what we're gonna be doing now. We are going to be replacing the LCD cover and bezel on this Acer Aspire A515-55. Let's go ahead and get started. And I'm gonna be a few screws down, I can see that already. And I have to be careful because the screen still works. So let me grab. Why do I rebuild it? Because it's cheaper than replacing the laptop, Emily. So that's the bezel. I'm gonna be missing at least one screw on this side. hinge on this side is causing me a little bit of tension. There we go. I have no idea, Emily. But all I know is that it's more expensive than $225. I'm going to take all four of these screws out. So my biggest concern at this point is how do I get this screen disconnected? I think I see a little, yeah, I got a pull tab. Problem is this, the way this cable is run, this is gonna be like almost impossible to do. this works. I, I have the adhesive. The problem is it's like very little material to grab onto at all. Very clearly a, uh, hey, we really don't want you doing this. The problem is I don't have tools that are sharp enough to grab this. All right, I guess I'm pulling out the pulling out the heat gun. Cause this guy is not coming off of here. Let's put put it like this. This case gets exceptionally hot, exceptionally quickly. They really don't want you replacing this. Hey guys, we gave you a little pull tab. You just have to have microscopic everything to touch it. Look at that. Didn't need to be that difficult. So to basically to soften the adhesive, Emily, that's what you use a heat gun for. So once you've softened the adhesive, it makes it easier to move the screen around. Okay, so I know how this cable is supposed to run. The cable that I need to pay the most attention to with this is gonna be this um, Wi-Fi cable. Wi-Fi cables are bananas long. Like they go from this side all the way over to here for some reason. Now we're going to remove these, the Wi-Fi antennas and get them transferred over to the new one. Try and be very delicate with this. This is just a thin piece of copper. You want to try and keep it as flat as possible. And then just, like I said, just pay attention to how this cable is run. Because you're going to have to do this on when you replace 
the actual LCD cover. All right, so now we need to get this other one off. That's gonna be a pain in the butt when I get this going. I'm gonna take a minute and flatten that out. Either that or I'll just cut it off so that it gets flat. All right, so first and foremost, we know where this goes. This lines up right over here. And I need to get this cable ran to the best of my abilities. I'll show you what I do to uh, get those to hold down. Now, one thing that I noticed when I was doing this is this white cable goes on the bottom. So as we go to feed this all the way through here and down, we gotta make sure we get the white cable in there first so that the black cable can press it down into place. So now it goes like that, and then the black cable goes directly on top of it. Though I must say, this cable management on this screen is actually stupid. All right, so that goes there. Everything is lining up quite nicely at this point. We're going to come around here. Hey, Angeline. Yeah. I need some of those real tiny flat screws. This is actually the hardest part of swapping over these LCD covers, is getting the cables lined back up with where they are supposed to go. Put everything back together, the screen just clicks back together, no worries. So this cable has to go over the clip and then we immediately go under this clip. So we have to do this one at a time. So like that. And like that, beautiful. Now, now that we have these cables run correctly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back. I'm just gonna take my little metal tool here, or you could even use a separator like this guy. And you just wanna flatten this out as much as possible so it re-adheres. There we go. Next thing we're gonna get installed is going to be video camera. There's only one place the video camera can go. And it's got little pins to hold it in place. You need to make sure that this cable that's up here stays out of the way. All right, now we go through the same process we did with the with the, the Wi-Fi cables. We just do it on this side. Got to make sure that these cables stay attached. So once you get it past that first little bend, it should be fine. Comes over here. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna tilt these guys to the direction they're supposed to go. We're going to reattach. I'm gonna switch my screwdriver head to the tiny boy. And this is where this gets a little awkward. All right, well, let's make sure these screws are actually nice and secure will not over tighten them to the point where they rip out. All right. Before we take that off, what I want to do is I want to turn this on. I gotta make sure one, of these cables actually clear everything. Like right now, this black cable. I'm gonna be very careful with this. I'll pull this out a little bit. There we go. Turn it on. Everything looks like it's still working. Make sure Wi Fi is still working. Wi Fi is still working. Get it shut down. And now we're going to 
pull our peels. Just give this a gentle, gentle squeeze along where the adhesive is. We're gonna be cleaning it off anyways. And then we take our new bezel and we're going to a new bezel clicked into place make sure all the clicks click in we have a gentle push along the bottom and along the sides you don't see any daylight looking through it. Look at the bottom and then just, and there you go. That's how you replace the LCD cover and bezel. All right, and that's it. Last thing you do, do your peel. All right, cool. And that's it for this.